My name is Hisham Abdul Halim. I'm a student of MSc Physics from West Bengal, India. Assalamu alaikum. My friend asked me a question that I could not answer. Please could you reply to it? Allah is neither male nor a female. Then why are all the names of Allah masculine in gender, like Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim? Most of the languages, they have three genders. The masculine, the feminine, and the neuter. For example, the English language, it has the masculine gender for the male. It has the feminine gender for the female. It has the neuter gender for inanimate things. So most of the languages, they have three genders. But in the Arabic language, there are only two genders. So every word in the Arabic language, it is either male or it is female. Even the inanimate objects, they are either male or they are female in the Arabic language. And there are certain rules and regulations, certain signs for a word to be mu'annaf or female. There are certain alamat. For example, if a word, it has a ta marbuta in the end, then the word, it is feminine. For example, sa'atun, that is watch, sayyaratun, that is car, mirwahatun, that is fan, nadharatun, that is specs. These words, they are ending with ta marbuta. Therefore, they are feminine. The second is that if the word, it is feminine by itself in nature. For example, ummun, that is mother, Bintun, that is daughter, Ukhtun, that is sister. These are feminine in nature. The third is that if it is pair and it is parts of the body. For example, Yadun, that is hand, Udhunun, that is ears, Ainun, that is eyes, Rijlun, that is legs. So these are rules and regulations. These are signs, these are alamat that a word it is feminine in nature in the Arabic language. Now, if a word, it does not have these alamat or sign, by default, it is masculine. The word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it does not have tamar buta in the end. It is not pair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ikhlas, chapter 112, verse number 1, Kul huwallahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. It is not feminine in nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not feminine in nature. So because the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it does not have the signs of the feminine words, therefore it by default, it is masculine. Similarly, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, all his names and attributes, they are also masculine. The word itself, it is masculine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has got no gender, but in the Arabic language, there are only two genders. So if a word, it does not have the signs of the feminine gender, by default, it falls in the masculine gender. So that's the reason even the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are masculine.